Congenital nasal masses are rare, but they can present significant clinical challenges. Let's explore some of the key types. First, encephaloceles. These occur when brain tissue and its membranes herniate through a defect in the skull, entering the nasal cavity. Typically presenting as a midline nasal mass, they can be associated with cerebrospinal fluid leaks. Prompt diagnosis and surgical repair are critical to prevent infection and neurological damage. Next, nasal gliomas. These are benign masses of ectopic glial tissue formed during fetal development. Unlike encephaloceles, gliomas lack an intracranial connection but may still obstruct the airway. Surgical excision is usually recommended. Dermoid cysts are another important type. These congenital masses contain skin and sometimes hair or even teeth. They commonly appear along the nasal bridge and can extend deeper into the nasal or cranial structures, making their removal more complex. We also have nasal hemangiomas, benign vascular tumors that can obstruct the nasal passage or cause nosebleeds. These masses often appear early in life and may require medical treatment or surgery depending on their size and impact on breathing. Accurate diagnosis often requires imaging, such as MRI or CT scans, to assess the mass and its connection to surrounding tissues. Treatment typically involves surgical intervention, with approaches tailored to the specific type and location of the mass. Understanding these congenital nasal masses is crucial for proper diagnosis and management, helping to minimize complications and improve patient outcomes.